Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Lampshade Party Ale from Bell's Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are going to try Lampshade Party Ale. This is a new one by Bell's. This is a double IPA. Um, packaged on 11-5-2018. So about two weeks old at this point. I did pick this up at the general store. Uh, we had to go in there for, uh, I think it was some yeast. And so I just picked it up. Um, 9% ABV, not sure about the IBUs, but I think almost every single Bell's beer on untapped and listed on their website does not show the, uh, IBUs of their beer. Um, really doesn't say anything. It's an old school picture, like a seventies picture. It's got a couch with a guy and a girl on it. And the guy has a lampshade on his head. So we do have kind of a khaki off-white head, small and medium bubbles in this one, about a finger and a half of head. Uh, bubbles on the side are like just soap. They are compact. If we take a look at the color, it is a very clear golden color. I can see all the way through it. Some bubbles coming up, not very many. Let's go ahead and get a smell. A little bit of citrus and pine. I wish I would uh, would have picked up Hop Solution. Now, the 2018 version of Hop Solution just came out. That is going to be year-round now. So, technically, I think they have Hop Solution, Lampshade, and Hop Slam are all double IPAs from Bells. I was going to get the Hop Solution. I haven't looked at anything about this Lampshade, and I wanted to see what the flavors are like the smells and the taste, what the difference is going to be. So I still might pick another lampshade and a hop solution up to see. But this one, the smells are not really blow, blow in your face <clears throat> or slam you in your face. It's a really subtle kind of citrus pine. Not that big at all. Let's go ahead and get a taste. I do get that sweet malt up front going back. I actually get like a pine bitterness, like a big pine bitterness out of this one. Aftertaste is a mixture of like sweet malt, citrus, and bitterness. Okay, now I'm getting more bitterness in the back, like on both sides of the tongue. I would think this is around 80 IBUs, if I had to say. Yeah, kind of a sweet malt citrus up front, going back into some pine bitterness, big bitterness in the aftertaste with, a, I don't want to say a sweet malt, but it's sweet, like a sweet citrus. Let's go with that. Body is medium, maybe a little bit more, but for a double IPA, I think that's what you're looking for. This is a good one. Um, I, I think for me, the bitterness is a little bit too high or pronounced in that taste. I think the malt's fine. I would probably have to go with a four out of five. I could probably drink one or two, but not something I would pick up from them all the time. I think it's balanced pretty well. As it's warming up in my mouth, you are getting more of a malt bitterness taste in the back. But for a double IPA, that's what you want. You need those IBUs to balance out the uh, all the malts that you're using. It doesn't taste to me like they're using like a lot of sugar to up that ABV. 
excuse me. Um, yeah, overall, not a bad beer. So, yeah, four out of five. I like the lacing on it, too. Uh, four of my friends have rated this average 4.38 out of five. Uh, 315 people have rated this average 3.07 out of five. Uh, Mike does like this very well balanced double IPA. He did give it a 4.5. Jordan gave it a 4. So I, I would say if you're into those maltier, bittier double IPAs, I think this is one you should try and find, pick up. But for me, that bitterness is a little too high. And I actually want more of that sweet citrus that I'm getting. I want that to be higher for my preference. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that bell, so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.